I saw this on eBay and I thought it would look quite nice, so um, I bought one just to take a look at it and see how well it was made. It's a nightlight which consists of three illuminated toadstools. The middle one uh, changes colour and the two outer ones are just warm white with sort of various foliage around it. Now, I'll turn on the light so you can see this better. Ah, that's better. And the toadstools have gone off because this is an auto-sensing nightlight, so let's uh, take this to bits, shall we? Put that down there. So I'll just unplug it from this death trap adapter. Um, this is quite nice, uh, in, before I've even taken it to bits, there's something I really like about this. If you pull off these silicon rubber sort of mushrooms, toadstool type things, the LEDs are actually in little socket. So as long as you observe the polarity, you can change these LEDs for new ones or just any type you like. That's a nice feature, I like that. <coughs> it's an American style connector, I think. Um, and let's open it up. It's got a little LDR in the bottom, uh, so it, when um, it's daylight um, or even room light, it turns off. <coughs> So two screws come out the bottom here. The foliage is apparently just shoved in. Okay, that came out quite easily. The toadstools are kind of looped together. They seem to be with flexible wire, but with a solid uh, stiff core. There's a white core inside this sleeve, which is stiff wire, and the red and black are flexible. And they're just looped in series, and they're into a wee connector on the circuit board. That's quite nice, isn't it? It's a capacitive dropper, which is pretty much what you'd expect. Um, so there's the capacitor, there's the discharge resistor, the probably the series resistor, the bridge rectifier, and then the light sensing circuitry. And I'm guessing, once again, that light sensing circuitry is um, just going to shunt the LEDs. So there's one screw holds it on. I'm not sure how these are soldered on. It's a single-sided board, so I'm not sure if this is going to come off or not. It is actually going to come off. Oh, they're not soldered on at all. They just rely on pressure. So the plug pins aren't soldered. It's just pads that it presses against. I suppose that in a sort of triangulation way, that as long as it's lined up, uh, when the screw tightens, it'll just press them against it. It seems a bit weird. Okay. So, the connections. Uh, so, it goes through the capacitor first, uh, into the... through the resistor. Bridge rectifier. Um, is the capacitor across that? The capacitor is across the bridge. A little uh, electrolytic capacitor, and so are the LEDs. So technically speaking, if you opened this, if you if you pulled this plug out or actually pulled one of the LEDs off, it would probably nuke this circuitry because the voltage would shoot up. I don't see a zener to clamp it. Um, we've got. Negative, positive, negative goes to here, transistor is, transistor is just shunting positive again. Yep. And there's a resistor also across the mains. Not the mains, but the, the supply probably, so to, Oh, I'm not really sure why they've got that resistor across there. It's just across the positive and negative. Maybe it's an attempt to actually try and clamp the voltage down um, to a modest level if the LEDs do get unplugged by simply putting a resistive load across it, though it's not exactly what you'd call an efficient way of doing things. 4.7K uh, by the look of it. Uh, yeah, so that's... um. 
Yeah, it's, it's, I mean, it looks great. It really does look nice. And if anything, the LDR is just a little bit too sensitive because the lights go off if there's any light in the room at all. So um, I'm thinking, you know what? I kind of want it to be lit all the time. So um, let's get rid of the transistor. Job done. Now it's lit all the time. Yeah, so uh, these are available on eBay for buttons. They're like one pound fifty or something shipped. They're they're very cheap, but um, you know what? I, I really like it. So I might actually get one or two more just for the mushroomy type things. That's quite neat. Yeah.